Shout out to today's sponsor of the day, which is brought to you by You Want. Today I am using You Want's all in one vacuum and mop cleaner. And let me just say, this thing has changed my life. And let me tell you why. So, the cleaner that I'm showing you is the You Want X100 all in one vacuum and mop cleaner. And like it says in the title, it's a vacuum and mop cleaner at the same time. I have never ever ever used a product like this and I'm just sitting here wondering why I've spent so much time vacuuming and then mopping when I could just be doing it all in one what you want. So to start this whole thing up you're going to take the filter out and you're going to add in the you want deep cleaning solution. First of all this cleaning solution smells so good and hits your floors shine. So you're going to add the solution up until the line where it tells you to stop and then you fill the rest with water and you're ready to go, ready to use your you want, you're ready to vacuum and mop at the same time, like I'm still not over that. It has a forward and back power assist so it really does not feel like you're doing any hard labor. You know when you're vacuuming it feels like you're really out there doing a workout with this you want all in one vacuum and mop cleaner. It's basically doing it for you. And on top of that, it's cordless. Oh my gosh, it just keeps getting better and better. It's cordless, y'all. So you don't have to trek around a long cord that gets stuck and gets tangled. It's cordless, so you're good to go. So you can clean wet and dry messes with ease. And I wanted to put this theory to test. So I was like, hmm, I gotta show my girls that this cleaner really works. So I decided to get two substances some orange juice and some flour. The orange juice works as the liquid substance and the flour is gonna work as like our dirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. First we'll do the orange juice. And as you can see, with ease, with ease, the You Want Cleaner did what it needed to do, y'all. I literally barely had to move a muscle and it cleaned up this spill in no time. The real test is gonna be if it can clean up flour. So I went ahead and put my flour down and at this point my mind was blown. Cause you're telling me it can clean up a liquid and a dry mess at the same time? At this point you want to take my money because what is going on? So during you want's launch, which I'll have the dates down below on when they're launching, they are giving away free gifts with purchases. So even if you don't win the giveaway, you can still win some free gifts and let me tell you what you can win. You can win a deep cleaning solution, a HEPA filter, and a You Want roller brush. So this gift will equip you with every single thing that you need for your cleaner and you don't have to go and buy anything extra from the website. Now if you do want to stock up on extra products like their cleaning solution, which again it smells so good y'all, like it literally makes your house smell amazing. But if you want to stack up on some extra products, they do have a sale where if you buy two, you'll get 10% off of this cleaner. If you buy four of these, you'll get 20% off of their cleaner. And if you buy six, if you want to get six, girl, then you can save 30% off of this cleaner. So I'm going to have the exact date on when this is launching. It is going to be in August, so make sure to set your reminders for August, whatever the date is down below, because girl, you don't want to miss out on this giveaway. Let's get into the giveaway. So there's going to be three lucky winners for this You Want giveaway and all you have to do to enter is follow their Facebook. 
Then you share the giveaway post that's on their page and boom, you're entered into a random giveaway selection. So the first prize will be the amazing You Want X100 that's valued at $499, but you can get it for free if you enter this giveaway. The second prize is the You Want B100 that's valued at $299. And the last prize is the cleaning kit that has the deep solution, the roller brush, and the HEPA. So regardless, you can get something for free by literally following their Facebook and sharing the giveaway post. And even if you don't win, you still can get 5% off of their website for just participating. So it's a win-win situation. Make sure to check all the links in my description to have all of these dates in your calendar so you can possibly win some free You Want products. What's up, y'all? I look so crusty. Y'all know when I, wig, when I ripped that wig off, it was done. I had the wig on for two days, y'all, and I ripped it off. But, um... How are you? I hope you're doing amazing. I am not doing a lot today, but I do have a lot of unboxings I wanna do with y'all. So let me just like, actually, can we sit down? Okay, so yeah, sorry. The whole girl today was just, it was a struggle. It was a struggle to get out of bed, but I was like, okay, let's like try to do something. I'm still not feeling a hundred percent, but I mean, we all have those days where we're just not feeling it. You know what I mean? Um, but I did get some little Amazon packages in. Well, welcome to welcome to the weekly vlog. Like what? If you're new, girl, my hair look. <laughs> ah! Okay, next week, mommy maintenance part two. I'll be doing a mommy maintenance vlog every other week because every other week I be feeling crusty. So I got some Amazon packages in for baby girl. Y'all know last week we did the hospital bag. This week we have more appointments for her. I told y'all I was gonna get her some more mittens. These are the Gerber ones. I just don't want them to be too big, you know what I mean? And the, all the ones I've found like just look a little too big. So I guess it's okay. I'm gonna wash these and put a couple in her um, hospital bag. And then I got some of these little like footies. These are not newborn size. There is no way. I don't know, girl. These are not newborn size. <laughs> I don't know. These are from the Honest Baby brand. Oh my gosh. So they're little feetsies. They're feetsies. These are preemie. These are not preemie, please. These are big. But I think it did say to size down. So I'm glad I did size down and got a preemie because like a newborn would have been huge. What the heck? But okay, I'm gonna do a load of laundry with these. And then I got her lounger. I've been meaning to get her a lounger for a minute now, so I'm glad I did it. Basically y'all, it's a final countdown. I'm full term now, so I'm full term. Um, her due date is August 12th, but the doctor said like she can come mm, really any week, like if she wants to and she'll be fine. And that's freaking crazy. The baby's about to come. We about to be a family y'all, like this is crazy. Okay, what is this? I think this is, okay, that must be the case. See, what is all this? What is, what is going on? Y'all love the suction stuff down and, baby, Javon. And he loves to act like he can't hear nobody. Javon, can you bring me a knife please? A knife. Like he's right in the other room, y'all. He's not even far away. Okay, so um what brand was it? It was the snow Huh? Where you at? I'm in the nursery. Why do you be acting like you can't hear nobody? Cut no, a butter knife. knife's not gonna work. <laughs> what kind of knife? Like a knife to cut this stuff open. <laughs> Yo. I think it's just me. You know what I mean? Like maybe I'm the buzzkill. Lulu, it's Lulu actually, because Lulu is gets on my nerves just every single day. Okay, anyways. Um, the Snuggle Me Lounger is the one I wanted, but it's like I just can't. Like, I am not gonna spend two hundred dollars on something that she's gonna outgrow mad quick. You know what I mean? So I was like, let me find a dupe. 
And y'all know I found a dupe. $40. And called it a day. Like, I'm not about to sit here. And hold on. Because maybe I should have got the snuggle me. Because what is this? They making me put stuff together, <laughs> y'all. Whoa! What's going on? What is this? Oh, okay. Okay. I just got to put it in this. But it's like, still, that's extra. Like, why you got me over here making at this point? I need to get some compensation because I just made this whole thing. I guess this goes in like... Loungers are just good when you don't, you know, you just want to put her up somewhere, lay her down. They're not supposed to sleep in these though. But I've been seeing people letting their baby sleep in it, so I don't know. Okay. I don't know what this is. Oh, what is going on? What is going on? It's legitimately. Okay. I got one part done. I put the lining on this part I think it don't even like really fit how it's supposed to fit and then I guess we just put this in the middle yeah snuggle me's looking real good right now y'all please I'm about to cry legitimately here's how it looks Cause I could cry right now. What are you talking about? Look at me trying to be cheap and this is exactly what I get. How does this thing, oh. <laughs> Mind your business. I didn't see the zipper. I didn't see the zipper. Okay, I put it together y'all. <laughs> Here's how it looks. So it actually isn't bad. I don't know why this. there's like this crease right here, but it's not bad it's not the snuggle me but like it wasn't 200 dollars either so what can we expect it's like a little lumpy here's how it looks you know what i mean oh shoot i should have washed this cover before i literally just did all that i literally have to take this all apart and do it again and do it again but it's It'll work though. It'll do what it needs to do. Then one of my good sisses, Brandy, literally blessed my whole life with like a whole box of just postpartum slash baby stuff. She, she was like, I got all this stuff brand new. Like, do you want it? <laughs> what? Girl, yes. Like a whole boppy, y'all. You know she got a bop. Well, she's got this boppy, but like this is the fake one, girl. So we got a real boppy. <laughs> I gotta find a cover too. I'm about to order one off of Amazon um just like a little mattress cover a whole breast care you know postpartum kit from the frida brand we got some nursing pads i need to like unpack all this anyways um a whole bunch of these cooling pads like a whole bunch of these cooling pads because we got to get a girl's cooling after this. Oh, girl. I do, I do. My system blessed me with a nursing scarf and just so much more. Like, for real, she's the GOAT. She's so bomb. Check out her YouTube channel. I'm going to have it on the screen. Oh, yeah. Look, y'all. And she's got another lounger. This one is so cute. At this point, I have to put like all this stuff in boxes and like, ooh, girl, don't be trying to kick. Don't be trying to karate chop me. Listen, y'all, today's just, it's a lot. It's really not a lot, but it's a lot. Here's my plan. I'm gonna organize this. I'm gonna get this together. Tomorrow we'll reconvene and I think we'll just be in a better place. We'll be in a better place together, and this week's gonna be good. Guess what? We're gonna see a townhouse on Saturday. Ah, I'm so excited, y'all. This lease is almost up, and I'm looking at the leasing office. 
And I'm looking at these other places and I'm like, yeah, I don't know about y'all. <laughs> so we're gonna see this beautiful townhouse on Saturday. We got baby appointment on Friday. We got just getting ready for this child. We got Lamaze classes, everything baby prep. I'm still on my raspberry tea. So getting ready for my labor, it's gonna be a lot. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Like. Uh, caramel medium caramel macchiato. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. What you want? A medium caramel macchiato. Can I have a medium caramel macchiato, please? In the sauce and egg and ice. Uh, iced. Okay, anything else for you? And what else? A sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. And a sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. Okay. Can I have two of those caramel macchiato ice the same way? Yeah, no problem. And then a cup of ice water. Anything else for you? And then just the ice water. All right, it's going to be 1576. All right, thank you. Good morning, y'all. So today, I know I told y'all Saturday we were going to see the townhouse, but the dude actually hit me up yesterday and said we can come in tomorrow, which is today. So we're actually on our way to go tour. Super excited. These are really nice. And we've been like looking at properties and stuff and looking at different, you know, scenarios. And we were really set on a house, but the houses we're looking at, they're just not giving. Like, it's just that, like, they're just not area, modern. Yeah. Or even just area. Like, you know, it's like, yeah. if we can find a house that, like, they got some really nice houses that got the space that we want and all of that. But, but they're, they're the just middle of far nowhere. from everything that yeah. we're trying to be at. So, me personally, I, I like the townhouse idea right now for for us, you yeah. know, as a fan. I think it has the space that we want, but it still has, like, the fact that, like, you know, they're going to be still cutting our grass and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like, we was going to have to do all, well, me. Right. <laughs> I was going to have to do all the landscape. Just the and, convenience of living in, like, a gated that. community. Like having them pull up anytime something's wrong. When you're living in a house, you don't know what type of landlord you about to deal with. Like we looked at a house last year that was, you know, we almost cl closed on for real, mm -hmm. and then it was all these electrical issues that they was talking about they wasn't gonna fix. You know what I mean? So we was gonna have to like pay for that. So that didn't make sense. Yeah, it don't make no sense, especially for not buying the house. Like how does that even? But anyway, so we just feel more comfortable like transitioning into a townhome from like, you know, our apartment to a townhome. The one we're looking at has four bedrooms, so it's really big and it's three stories. Three and a half, yep, three stories. And the garage is big. The two car garage. The one thing that was really slowing us down and had us apprehensive about it was just the fact that we about to have a baby, you know, so okay. like moving is already like super stressful. Mm -hmm. Having a baby is also very stressful. Um, to do both at the same yeah. time is just like it's a lot. But then, you know, Thinking about it, I mean, we got help. You know what I mean? My mom is coming down. Um, shoot, my dad will come down. Like, you know, we got movers. We can also hire movers and stuff. So, we, you know, just try to make it as... Because basically as how as it works, y'all, we still have time on our lease. Like, our lease isn't up until mid-October. So, we're just kind of like... I really want to look at this neighborhood and kind of put that bug in their ear like we're really interested so when they do have an opening near October we can get it easily but um yeah we're still in our place until October but with the way like our rent is raised we're like we might as well move into like a better spot and pay like a little bit more but it'll be worth it like we only have a two bedroom and if we're paying like a little bit more but we're having a four bedroom with three and a half bathrooms like and it's super super modern and these are brand new the ones we're going to look at like nobody's ever lived in them they were just just finished in 2022 i think like in march of 2022 so and mom you know what well, my mom is uh just coming to help out with the baby and stuff so she's gonna be with us for for a little bit and mm -hmm. we just want more space yeah, you know more space. it really come down to that like we just like if it was just us if we didn't have a big family like we'd be cool but we do yeah. have a lot of family coming to see the baby and all that type of stuff and i just don't want to feel overwhelmed so i know having like a four bedroom because i'll be able to have my office again um and then we can have a whole guest bedroom which is definitely something that we need right. so, okay. yeah y'all we're super excited and um we're gonna meet y'all at the townhouse hopefully he's there we're like 10 minutes late but oh perfect i just got an email saying the person's running 10 minutes late thank you Period. So we on the same time. Right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we'll meet y'all there. We're gonna do like a whole tour. And the area is dope too. The area, yeah. like the area, the neighborhood. I hope they're like not there. like I hope they let us self tour. Like I don't want to be with somebody like up under me. I mean, 
What's the difference? Like, why? Because they're gonna be in my face. We had two of these? Yeah. Okay. Listen, y'all, I'm on my, this is my first coffee of the week, so be proud of me. I was so close to getting coffee yesterday, but I didn't. And we stopped at Dunkin' because Dunkin' has better breakfast than Starbucks, 100%. Okay, that's back. So, yeah, y'all, we will meet y'all. And then see him. So first Four bedrooms, right? Yes. Okay, that's the fridge it's supposed to go to? This is the one that is going to go up. Uh, they're going to come and install it for the Saturday. Okay. Let me show y'all the first bathroom. Closet. Yeah. Uh, this is the garage entry. Okay. Garage in the back. Yeah. Okay, it's a two car garage or one? Garage. Is here. Okay. Garage is here. And uh, good space on the right. Yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah, you got the next piece of the price set up. This is really where the office would be, Javon, because it's downstairs. They have the fridge down here, y'all, but the stairs go up here. This is like the front walkway. You come in, bedroom, bathroom number one. Yeah, the office down here, I can see that. Right here? Yeah. Or the guest bedroom, honestly. Nah, the guest room might be upstairs. I kind of like the idea. Okay, let's office. head up here. The office is much better. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, this is beautiful. Yeah, I do like that. This is. What do you call Absolutely beautiful. Refrigerator is going to go here. Yeah, that's going to come here. Refrigerator. And it's like a new refrigerator too. I like this open layout too. Yes, it's it has nice. a bathroom inside. A bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Okay, a little. And it's got three bathrooms? Three and a half? Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Small closet for nice. dining room. I love this kitchen. Yeah, I like the kitchen. Oh, so that's the living room? That's the living room, and then this, this is, is the dining room. room. Okay. Table, yeah, we brought a wooden table that already matched the aesthetic, too. Yeah, this yeah, is really nice. Y'all, the bedrooms is kind of small, to be honest. I mean, like, the bathroom is nice, but like, our bedroom is way bigger than this. I like that, because, girl, shut the thing when you go into the bathroom. Bathroom is really nice. Uh, it's a lot bigger than this thing, I thought. I know, but I feel like the bedrooms are small. We're just gonna give you a rundown, y'all. I, I really love the kitchen. The kitchen was great. I don't think it's worth the money at all. It's a nice location, but... And my dude Punnett wasn't trying to sell us on nothing. I don't know if you heard him. Like He was acting like he didn't know what was going on. But I will say, the bathrooms are nice. Like It's very modern. It's, it's modern. The kitchen was beautiful. If they're all owned by different owners, that means that they all compete on prices. That's why he wasn't trying to tell us about the other one, because they don't he don't own it or whoever he works for don't own that. So he's not gonna sell somebody else's property for them if he don't get paid for it. So we would have to go online and look for it. Mm -hmm. You need like a suction cup. I did, I bought one off of Amazon two days ago. Um, and look at the other floor plans, you know what I'm saying? He couldn't really, he didn't want to tell us about the other floor plans because he don't have it. That's not his. That's right. Not his, his, uh, it's um, nice, y'all. But we'll see, and yeah, we obviously might. we'll see in yeah. October, like what they have still. I mean, yeah. The good news is though, that means the prices they they all compete with each other. All the different owners, are all the different spots. So you can probably even negotiate and get certain prices down on on stuff, especially if they're trying to fill it. If it's new, so it's like right. we can probably.
probably get a bigger floor plan for the same price or cheaper than what he was selling it for. Maybe one of the owners does come with utilities and stuff. You just gotta right. Look. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I forgot to ask if, do if dogs are allowed in that too. So yeah, y'all. That was the first place we looked at. Um, yeah, we gonna see, girl. We gonna see. Okay. What'd you do? I just didn't even look at no directions, and I already know how this works. I well, I where'd it go on my end? It's like gone now. You got it. It's in there. Y'all know we got the even flow car seat, and it's super easy to install. I don't know where the thing went on my end. But there's like a buckle that you just plug into the bottom of here because car seats are usually mad hard to install. And it can be used for all four stages. Look at them. Put in it together. Uh -uh. All right. On our way to Townhouse. I'm sweaty. Two. My glasses, my face mad shiny. Yeah, it was a struggle, low key putting that thing in, but it's in no. Booby, you okay? <laughs> you good, boo? That's how Jamal. Yeah, I need that me. mirror thing because I, I can't see her face. I know we got to put up the mirror in the back, but um. You what you want to eat? Eat. You want to eat? Eat. eat. <laughs> you want Chick Fil A? Just like your mom. Oh my god. <laughs> Chick-fil-A every day, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. This is my daughter. She, oh, yeah. she just be hungry. Like, she be tripping. You are crazy. I'm just prepping me off for the other uh, channel, you know? No so, as y'all know, we are newlyweds. And marriage is like, I want to say marriage is hard. I would just say marriage takes like. It has challenges. Yeah. Like, for example, I am like, so, and I've realized this, and it's funny because I've been asking God to make me more optimistic. Because when I say I'm so pessimistic, y'all, I just be lucky. Because <laughs> I'm like, no, it can't be right. Like, and Javon's the complete opposite. He's totally a thousand percent optimistic optimistic and I think both to an extreme are not good you know what I mean like being really optimistic sometimes isn't the best and then being super pe pessimistic clearly isn't always the, the best I mean it's a blessing I'll look at it like this right so I naturally women are drawn towards security that's just right a thing you know so taking a bunch of risks is just not your first instinct to do you know what I mean whereas with men I think well, at least for me specifically, like I, I don't. I've been taking risk all my life. You know, I feel like there is no reward without risk. We actually watched that Giannis movie. Remember his dad said yeah. that on, on Rise. Yeah. But there is no reward without risk. Yeah. So when we sit up and we're praying for certain things, like yeah. more money or more, or or even even just praying for God to increase increase my faith. Oh, you were supposed to turn there. Oh, okay. Well. Increase my faith. And also, Javon's not going to multitask. So one <laughs> right. Yeah, if it was up to me, we'd be in the car just driving and talking all day. But, <sighs> but like, you know, when you ask God to, like, increase your faith, and then and then something is placed in front of you where you need faith in order to to pro, to, to to execute on it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To, to take advantage of the opportunity. And so, to me, that's, that's how I see. So, but at the same time, though, I appreciate my... Uh, because I've also lost a lot of money taking risks. Mm -hmm. Maya does not like to lose money. You know what I mean? And so she also, she saves me from myself sometimes. <laughs> but I think that there is, there, there, there does come a time though where eventually one of our, we're gonna have to take a risk. So this is, this is all to say this y'all. So in marriage, it's gonna take a lot of compromise. But I think of people, people have a lot of disagreements sometimes because they don't have like, a foundation if that makes sense like one person can be left field the other person can be right field but what's gonna draw them to the center so they can both meet in the same place and that's why having God in your marriage is not even a question because in this scenario where I'm being super pessimistic and he's being super optimistic it's not even between us all I got to do is go to God and be like oh freak it loves doing this one thing about the Sony ZV-1 it's gonna overheat but what I was saying is 
one person can be in left field one person can be in right field but what's going to draw them to the center is god like god is going to give you the answers that you need you feel me so in this situation where i'm being super pessimistic and javon's being super optimistic it's not even a battle between us i'm just like god you guide us like you show us the way you make it clear what you want us to do and i feel like when you lack god in your relationship and you don't have that you are gonna have people who are literally playing in two different fields and there's gonna be so much conflict because y'all can never find common ground and god has given us common ground because he goes by his word and his word never changes you know what i mean god is faithful to us so we can trust in him well and and he he is so in this instinct right he's going he's challenging maya right and her ability to trust him and to believe that this that that is going to work out the way it needs to he's yeah. also challenging me though and not being so hasty as well right and so together with the balance of it what it means is I gotta put together a presentation for Maya. Like that's right. the only way she's gonna see the the opportunity in it is I'm going to have to put together. But what it does is it also it makes me do my due diligence to make sure that whatever we're about to get into is gonna make sense. I'm not right. just jumping into it now. I'm actually prepared. I have yeah. slideshow. It's pow It's giving PowerPoint. You know yeah. what I'm saying? PowerPoint to show why this is a good investment. So yeah, marriage is gonna be all about compromise. But I think like our safety net and our security is we both serve the same faithful God and we know that he will never lead us astray so if we're ever having conflict we both go into our different rooms and we both go into prayer and we both get that um kind of confirmation from God on whether to move forward with something or whether to not and I think that's just that just gives me a lot of peace at least like I don't want to be just out here guessing and I don't want Javon to be out here guessing because God sees further than we see. God sees stuff. And God sees people more than we can see people. He knows the outcome of stuff. So serving a God like that, listen, he already knows what's about to happen. So I'd rather put my trust in that than myself because again, I have missed out on a lot of opportunities from being pessimistic. I wouldn't say I, pessimistic, you, skeptical, I'm, yeah, overly cautious. Yeah, for sure. I am, but, but that's just how I am. But I, for real, one of my prayers this week, y'all, I kid you not, was, God, can you just help me to be more optimistic? And the fact that this opportunity is coming now, it's not a coincidence. So sometimes we pray for stuff and God's like, okay, this is how I'm going to answer this prayer. And it's not the way that we thought, we but. Okay. Oh, I am. Super nice. So, uh, so no one has lived in this yet? Really? I love yeah, it. It's like two out being Okay, two car garage. I really like these high ceilings. We looked at another one today, but yeah. I don't know about the other one. I love the high ceilings. I know. I'll show you what this one. This is like my favorite. This is the master? Mm -hmm. I love that. The sunlight. Oh, you can be anything you want to be. Wow. But then I, I like this whole little patio. Yeah, let's see if I can get it out there This has blown the other one out the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. How do I? Javon, please don't play with me. Look at the shower. This is killing the other one. This is, this, the ceilings are so dope. And oh nobody lives in here too, I love it. It's got another one where you shut it. <gasps> the closet! The closet! Okay, y'all, so just got home and y'all saw my reaction. I'm in love. But I took a second in prayer and I was like, God, let your will be done. One thing that I know, if something is for me, oh baby, it's for me. And no man and no circumstance can ever change that. What's for me is for me. And I can trust that.
I said, God, let your will be done. Whatever that is, let it be done. Because this is the thing. God gives us good things. And I'm like, if this townhome is a good thing, then let us receive it, Lord, if it's your will. But sometimes what looks good always isn't good for us right then and there. So trusting God that he's going to give me a good thing or maybe not give me a good thing. I can have peace with that because I know all things that happen work for the greater good of those who believe and trust in the Lord. Don't just jump into things, y'all. When I say you got to pray on it, you can't be out here making fast decisions, making these abrupt decisions because you don't know what's going to happen later down the road. But what I do know is I serve a God who knows all and all knowing. So my word for you, if you're struggling with a decision on what to do, how to do it, where to go, trust in the Lord with all your heart and trust he will direct your path. I have peace after that prayer because it's not on me no more. I left that in that prayer room. You know what I mean? Like that burden isn't on me anymore to figure it out. Is this for us? Is it not? God knows. And I could trust in that. So I've realized that he's going to order my steps now. I've prayed it, I've put it out into the atmosphere, and he's gonna order my steps. So whatever happens, happens. But I love that town home. <laughs> so that's gonna be the end of today, y'all. Had to give you a word. God is doing amazing things. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Ask him for guidance. Ask him to order your steps, and I promise you he will. I'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow. We're in the hospital room, not the hospital room, the doctor's office. We was running late today, y'all, so I really wasn't like able to vlog in the car. But um, we were just talking about our family channel because we are going to start a family channel. So y'all better tap in, girl, because I'm not going to post really no family stuff on this channel. So if you want to be nosy, you have to go to the family channel. And that's just that. We got Javon in the cut today. What's up, sisters? <laughs> and we just have a lot of exciting news coming to y'all. Um, next vlog is gonna like tell y'all everything because I like to give y'all episodes you know what I mean like I can't give it to y'all all at once but just know things are going amazing this lighting's kind of good hair slicked back so next week I'm gonna do like a mommy maintenance makeover before my labor and delivery because your girl need to get her braids done her nails done her, you know I'm always getting something but today is just a regular checkup we're just gonna check her RP um ask us any questions we already have our birth plan logged in so everything is really good to go i'm super excited i am three weeks i am three weeks away y'all so she can come anytime i'm full term and yesterday i don't know i think i was feeling like some braxton hicks because i was feeling like a lot of cramping but it wasn't consecutive you know what i mean so it's just a lot <laughs> But we're gonna do this appointment and I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. I kid you not, this is how this package looked, y'all. I just cut the tape, but like all the tape was was right here. Javon thought this was trash. Like it was on count your days. What is going on? But I have something to show y'all. We got another gift. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay. I have been wanting to get the baby Bajorn bouncer. And Javon's cousin got it for us. And we are so thankful and grateful. But Amazon got to do better because this ain't right. So y'all know. All the girls talk about this bouncer. Literally all the girls talk about this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. in this neutral tone again y'all we like to get like any big items get them in a neutral tone don't get them in like a pink or a blue because you don't know what's gonna happen in the future now and we like to reduce reuse and recycle oh my gosh the reviews on this were literally so good i had to well, I didn't do it. His cousin did. Oh, thank you. We're so.
so excited. I'm so excited. Javon's just like, what is going on? But basically, the dope thing about this is it goes with the baby's movement. Like the Mama Roo, a lot of reviews were saying like the baby didn't want to be rocked and it was being rocked. This will go with the baby's movement. So if the baby wants to move, they'll pick up on that. And if the baby doesn't, it's just a place where they can chill out, you know? So exciting. What's popping y'all? It's later in the day and we're headed to a little girl's night in, okay? So my girl Grace is hosting this month's girl's night in and I think we're doing like a sip and paint. I'm gonna be giving the girls grape juice as we know, but definitely still wanna pull up for the vibe. Love to have these little girl's nights in because we need to tend to our relationships and that's just not what you mean. Your friends need love too. So we love doing these little girl's nights in almost every month, girl we be trying, but our schedules be busy. But just to, you know, reconnect, reconvene and all that type of stuff. Y'all look at the case I got off of Amazon for my camera. It's fire. But I'm about to get in the car. I'm a little late, fashionably late. And we're gonna head over there for this little girl's night in. Outfit, really basic, a little top. Sorry, this is dirty. Y'all see how big my bump is? Look at how big. With these little skim shorts and a bodysuit. I need to clean that mirror, it's dirty. But let's go get the girls, girls night in. <laughs> So. Okay, also y'all, I know y'all probably want updates on like the house that we looked at. So I've been talking to the management of the house and I have a really good feeling about it. I'm gonna just say that. I won't know until next week, so we'll know in next week's vlog. But girl, I could see straight through that girl's bedroom. She need to get some curtains. Anyways. <laughs> So we won't know until like the Monday and that'll be a next weekly vlog, but not fingers crossed, hands together. <laughs> okay, because the Lord my God. Seriously y'all, and we just have a like, it's gonna be a whole testimony. I'm already seeing how God is doing what God does and we just gonna be patient, we gonna wait. I haven't been able to get much good sleep these past couple days because my daughter is like, six and a half pounds now she's big i'm big i am literally 200 pounds like i'm crying <laughs> never in my life have i it's just a lot but i do know that let me get right back on track when she's out and yeah um i'm pulling up to my girl's house right now we literally live we're neighbors so <laughs> it's not that far of a drive <laughs> But it's going to give girls my in. She never has no parking over here. As y'all know, my best friend Eva is late. One thing about it, she going to be late. But we love her. We really do. And I'm just, I'm out of breath. I'm so hungry. I hope we got some food, girl, because I'm starving. But as y'all can see, I got a tripod for my car. Well, Javon's car. <laughs> I was tired of having y'all sliding all over the place. This has been my go-to bag now. I forgot about it and now I remember I have it and now I just am using it every day. So let's go chill with the girls. Oh, the 
raves are ready to take on date night. We're looking real cute. A little light coordination. We didn't coordinate too much, but we still look real good together. Oh, you know, you know I just kept it neutral, black. Whatever you use when <laughs> Tell them your outfit details. Uh, so, pants by Zara. Okay. Uh, shirt by Zara. Okay. With a little bit of, uh, of some Vans. Just keep it simple, you know what I'm saying? Don't try too hard. My favorite type of style is looks like I didn't really try too hard, but, okay. it, but still super fresh. You okay. know what I mean? So, so y'all know me. One thing about it, I'm going to wear some sheen. <laughs> this is a super cute, pregnancy-friendly outfit because, girl, it's hard to even find anything cute pregnant. Skirts mm -hmm. is going to be your go-to and dresses are going to be your go-to. So I got this top from Sheen. No, I got this from Zapple, actually. So check out my Zapple haul for details. And then I got this from Princess Polly with some cute jewelry. Let's show them the jewelry. I got these. I've never worn these before, but they're so cute with JBW, the wing, of course, and a little bracelet. So yeah, they look really cute. And it's raining, but it's okay. They're not going to stop our time, our good time. So let's head out to our date night. Let's do it. <laughs> back was hurting but we got to ride on these little trolley things yeah i saw we we caught we caught one on the way home because there was there was no way they're there super cool too I, yeah brah cop in man so y'all that's our date night it was so fun but i'm exhausted like i'm literally so tired oh i got my leftovers i got yeah. my leftovers so i had the uh jambalaya <sighs> it was banging yes i still have two tacos left y'all but that's gonna wrap up our date night i hope you guys enjoyed watching yeah i hope this inspired you to take your boo on a nice little night out because yeah. everybody deserves some love yeah oh hi for sure we love you love y'all we appreciate you about to go chill god bless you for the movie on and we're gonna see you yeah next uh -huh. video let's go get it bye <laughs>